Hello, I'm David Wojohn, and the title of this poem is Catawba Cotton Mill, 1908. It's after a photo taken that year by Lewis Hine. Propping his tripod, Hine remembers childhood snowfall in Wisconsin, flakes careening in prairie wind, a red sleigh skimming a frozen lake, curlicued breath mist of two dappled drays. But this is blizzard of cotton dust from the looms and 30,000 spindles, gauze air, whirlwind of innumerable floaters. The thermometer reads 103. And for these seven 10-year-olds, childhood is six 10-hour shifts. And on the seventh day, they rest, heads nodding over hymn books, the drone of temperance and hellfire. But this is din not drone, the spindles, manic prayer wheels, the doffers and the little piecers skittering on hand and knee beneath the clatter of the looms, patrolling for clumps of cotton waste. This is weaver's cough and mattress maker's fever, the mad percussive chivalry and glossolalia. But then, for the moment, it ceases. The foreman have gathered their doffers and stilled the looms and spindles. Six boys, a lone girl. The foreman adjusts his derby, pointing them toward the cyclop eye. Heinz's five by seven. They are ordered to look solemn, as if they could look otherwise. Pulled slide, the flash pan dusted with powder, the sizzle as the room erupts in light. Where the punctum, where the studium, to end your life at 25 or 30, missing fingers, mangled hands, to walk somnambulant to a sullen dormitory bunk, picking cotton shavings from your hair, mattress ticking, spat into a rude pine floor. But Hein has set his flash pan in its case, broken down his tripod, fiat lux. Hein gathers his work and faintly smiles, adjusting his bowler and making a fist, as if to attest that in this foul rag and sweatshop, in this charnel house of ceaseless motion, his lens might render one fugitive moment of dignity. Light is required, wrote Hein. Light in floods.